protest rocked the Wisconsin city of Kenosha following the police-involved shooting of Jacob Blake. Blake's shooting, captured on cell phone video, appears to show officers following Blake to his car, then shooting him while his back is turned. Outrage over the shooting fuels night after night of unrest. Protesters and counter-protesters clash. This night ends with two dead and one injured. In the melee is 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse. The Illinois resident crossed state lines on August 25th, telling local media he was there to protect property. By daybreak, he was a wanted person. Video captured with a cell phone appears to show Rittenhouse running through the street as others race toward him. Some accuse him of being a shooter. Then there are shots. People are getting shot all around us. People are just getting shot everywhere, guys. Video from a different angle of the confrontation shows the gunman firing multiple rounds as a crowd surrounds him. The gunman moves away, walking with his hands raised in what seems to be a surrender as police roll by. <laughs> Rittenhouse makes his way home to Illinois that night while police try to make sense of what happened. The radio traffic was nonstop and there were people running all over the place. Shot to death is 26-year-old Joseph Rosenbaum in a parking lot. Moments later, in a second clash that was caught on camera, Anthony Hubert is killed and Gage Grosskreutz is injured. Rittenhouse is charged with several felonies, including two counts of intentional homicide, attempted homicide, and possessing a deadly weapon while under 18. The gun charge in particular has been the source of heated exchanges between prosecutors and the defense. As to 29593, that has to do with hunter certification. If an individual is out hunting, and that's what Mr. Binger was hanging his head on. There is no allegation anywhere that my client was hunting on August 25th. There's no dispute in this case that Kyle Rittenhouse armed himself with an AR-15 on August 25th, 2020 at the age of 17 years old. That's it. It's that simple. Now, if the defense wants to hide behind hunter safety regulations to try and excuse that behavior, then I'll simply quote back what attorney Richards just said, which is the defendant wasn't hunting. At his bond hearing, Rittenhouse's lawyer argues that the teen acted in self-defense. The state can bury their head in the sand. And in reality, who struck my client first? Who attacked? my client first. We're not talking about demonstrators, we're talking about rioters who had ill intent in their heart. Also at the hearing is Anthony Huber's father. Kyle Rittenhouse thinks he's above the law. He wants the judge to keep Rittenhouse behind bars while he awaits trial. He was an active shooter and he tried to flee and my son lost his life protecting other people. He was a hero. The case against Rittenhouse has attracted high-profile supporters, including Silver Spoon's actor Ricky Schroeder. He helps post the hefty $2 million bond that allows Rittenhouse to be free while he awaits trial. Disappointing news to a grieving father. There's people out there raising money right now, making it their own fight that it's about gun rights, and it's not about gun rights. My son was killed. Another man was killed. They didn't deserve to be killed. It's the most divisive case I've ever covered, ever. There are, there are two sides looking at this thing from a political uh, point of view. It, it breaks down exactly that way, and no one's budging in this one. Let's bring back in the think tank. Um, Self-defense is going to be the defense here. Um, two of the three shootings are clear on video. Bernarda, do you see self-defense? He's getting hit in the head with a skateboard. Uh, he got punched in the head by somebody else. Someone else uh, who got shot brandishes a, a, a pistol and points it at him. Is this self-defense, at least for those two, the first we don't see? Vinny, I'm not a fan of this case, but unfortunately I do see that justification self-defense is going to be a viable defense for Rittenhouse, even though he's the one who went down to Kenosha, Wisconsin, armed with a firearm, armed with an assault rifle, armed with a rifle that was almost half the size of his body, which is crazy to me. But unfortunately, I see that he does have a chance of skating on these on these charges. 
Randy, what do you see when you see that video? Uh, I agree with Bernard. You know, that charge, the self-defense char uh, defense may work. You know, on the civil side, right, if they get sued for civil, we're going to look at foreseeability. You put on a gun, you go down to an environment like that, were your actions foreseeably going to end up in something like this? There may be a different result on the civil side. But on the criminal side, you know, that one instance, was he defending himself? That's a fact question for a jury, and it's certainly a defensible uh, argument. They're going to make the argument. Who knows if it's going to work? But I agree with Bernarda. Ian, would you, I mean, if you were, if you were defending, I'm not saying you would defend him, but if you were defending mm -hmm. Kyle Rittenhouse, um, would you rely solely on the video, or do you think he needs to supplement the video and tell this jury what he was doing and why he was doing it? He may need to, because as Bernardo and Randy uh, pointed out, he went to the conflict, and that usually stops the uh, claim of self-defense right there in its tracks. So what was going on in his mind at that moment is going to be important, although the burden obviously falls on the state. This is going to be one of those game-time calls, Vinny. Where we're going to have to see how the evidence goes in. You're going to prep your client right uh, as trial as as trial starts. Gauge whether or not he's going to do a good job. Keep doing it nightly as the case progresses, based upon the evidence. And you're going to make that call right at that moment. If you don't put him on, you think that the case is going well enough. If you do put him on, that's a sign uh, that the defense thinks the case is not going the way they want, and they're going to have to put him on. They do not want to put him on. As a defense lawyer, I would not want to put him on unless I had to. Yeah, to me, this trial, jury selection, is, um, is, is crucial. And I don't know if, if, if there's anyone who watches the video and, and knows the story that doesn't have a strong opinion about it. I don't know if there are those people who are somewhere in the middle. Uh, but, but we'll find out. We will find out. Uh, this one is on schedule for this year. We've got a motion hearing coming up on September 17th. Trial date, November 1. Motion, September 17. Trial date, November 1. Of course, your front row seat to justice will be on it.